Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a big cross-country commercial turboprop, but then shrink it down to just six seats? Well, that's exactly what Piper did in the late 70s, and more importantly, continues to produce to this day. In this video, we will find out what's so special about this aircraft, and why this might be the one and only you might need for any cross-country family trip, flying fast, high, and safely. And before we begin, I would like to ask you to leave this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos as well. Your activity truly helps us to gain traction, as our channel is still quite young, but we truly do our best to provide quality content about the wonders of aviation and value each one of you who supports us on our journey. Founded in the late 1920s, Piper Aircraft Company has consistently led advancements in the general aviation sector. The visionary William T. Piper, sometimes dubbed the Henry Ford of aviation, established the company with an objective, to make aviation more accessible and practical for a broader segment of the population. When it came to the Malibu, it was a bit different from that initial idea. The development of the PA-46 was a big step in aviation that started during a tough time in the late 1970s. The economy was weak, and this made things like getting money and resources for a new aircraft design difficult. Despite these tough conditions, Piper decided to go forward with their plans. Piper wanted to create a high-performance, pressurized, single-engine aircraft, something quite different from their previous non-pressurized models. The idea was mainly forced by the facts that Piper, being a major player in the general aviation game, wanted to present a solid competitor to the newest Cessna P210 Centurion and its pressurized cabin. This meant they had to come up with new ways of designing and building the plane, which brought its own set of problems. But Malibu wasn't just another aircraft in their lineup. It was envisioned as the flagship of the Piper fleet. Recognizing its potential significance, Piper's engineering team invested heavily in its design, aiming for top-tier, groundbreaking specifications that were unmatched at the time. Piper did everything to overcome Cessna's Centurion, even if just a notch. With the initial engine choice being the Continental TSIO 520BE, the Malibu had 310 horsepower, which allowed it to cruise at 225 knots, or around 260 miles per hour. What's interesting is that the world speed record set on the PA-46 in 1989 is actually 440 miles per hour. On a side note, I'm not sure how Steve Stout achieved that, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But speed wasn't everything. It was also about the service ceiling at 25,000 feet. And that's even more impressive when combined with a cruising range of 1,550 nautical miles. These numbers fascinated many wealthy people of that time, but it wasn't just about raw power and high altitudes. In response to the Centurion's utility-driven interior, Piper went all in for the comfort and luxury interior. Malibu has a spacious cabin which can seat up to six people. The seats are typically made of high-quality leather, offering a high level of comfort, especially for long flights. The cabin is designed to be roomy, providing enough headroom and legroom, even for taller passengers. This means that everyone on board can enjoy the flight without feeling cramped. Noise reduction features are built into the cabin, making the flight quieter and more enjoyable. Seats can be adjusted for comfort, and each seat has its own air vent and reading light. Storage compartments are also available for passengers to stow their personal items. The Malibu also offers a generous baggage capacity. It has a dedicated baggage compartment that provides a safe and convenient space for luggage. This is particularly useful for longer trips or vacations where more luggage might be required. The rise of Malibu's popularity was as rapid as its descent. Just over 400 PA-46, 310P aircraft were produced before being discontinued in 1988 due to a series of engine failure accidents. Despite the tragic incidents, Malibu gained a lot of interest, so Piper quickly presented an upgraded, and what's most important, safer version, PA-46 350P Malibu Mirage. The transition from the initial Malibu to the Malibu Mirage brought about a number of significant upgrades that enhanced both the performance and operational capabilities of the aircraft. Here are some key changes. One of the most significant upgrades was the replacement of the Continental TSIO 520 engine with a more powerful and reliable Lycoming TIO 540. The Mirage saw several avionics upgrades over the years, 
with many models featuring Garmin avionics suites. These advanced avionics systems enhanced the pilot's situational awareness and made the aircraft easier to operate. The cabin of the Mirage was refined for added comfort and luxury. While the original Malibu was already well regarded for its spacious and comfortable cabin, the Mirage took this a step further with improvements to the seats, cabin layout, and noise reduction. Some models even included a refreshment center and an enclosed lavatory, which are features usually found on larger and more expensive aircraft. The Mirage also introduced new safety features. For instance, some models of the Mirage came with a built-in oxygen system and automatic pressurization control, enhancing safety for high-altitude flights. These upgrades, among others, ensured that the new Mirage built upon the strengths of the original Malibu, while also addressing areas that were due for improvement. The result was an aircraft that was even more capable, reliable, and comfortable. At least, on paper and inside, because the engine troubles continued to pursue Piper, even with the Mirage. Despite the introduction of a larger 350 horsepower engine in the Mirage, performance enhancements, such as increased speed or climb rate, were not as expected when compared to the Malibu. In fact, the new plane consumed more fuel without a significant improvement in speed or altitude performance. This was in part due to the addition of approximately 200 pounds of upgraded interior features, which offset the potential performance gains from the bigger engine. Moreover, the early years of the Mirage were marked by mechanical issues with the Lycoming engine. Specifically, crankshaft problems led to nearly every Lycoming engine recalled in need of a new crankshaft. Notably, several high-profile accidents associated with these crankshaft issues led to public safety concerns and regulatory scrutiny. Fortunately, the investigation concluded that the Malibu was not at fault. The directive was lifted, with the FAA attributing the series of accidents to insufficient pilot training rather than the aircraft itself. Piper subsequently emerged from bankruptcy, and production of the aircraft continued. In autumn 2000, it was finally safe to say that Piper had achieved perfection. It was the Malibu Meridian. Once again, with the new PT-6A42A engine from Pratt & Whitney, this turboprop had 500 horsepower on board and led to larger wings, a larger tail, and reinforced landing gear. The cabin of the Meridian continued to offer the comfort and luxury that the PA-46 series was known for. However, the use of a turboprop engine brought about changes in the aircraft's noise and vibration levels, requiring additional noise insulation in the cabin to maintain the comfort level passengers had become accustomed to in the Malibu and Mirage models. The transition from the Mirage to the Meridian also saw further improvements in avionics. The Meridian typically came equipped with a more advanced Garmin avionics suite, providing pilots with superior navigation capabilities and improved situational awareness. Since 2015, all Malibus are now called M-Class airplanes. What's important is that four planes, three Malibus, and one newly called Matrix, are essentially the same iconic plane from the 80s and 90s. In the realm of single engine and pressurized cabin airplanes, this is the only one still in production. As mentioned previously, the Malibu class currently comprises of four planes, with the latest addition being the Matrix. The Matrix is a lighter variant of the Malibu class, lacking cabin pressurization. Piper is marketing the Matrix as a cabin class aircraft for owners of Cirrus SR-22 and Cessna 400 to upgrade to. Matrix shares many specifications with the smallest M350, which is essentially an updated version of the classic Mirage. It is even equipped with the same 350 horsepower turbocharged Lycoming 540 engine, but enhanced with various fuel efficiency systems. And then we have two big brothers, M500 and M600, both equipped with a Pratt and Whitney PT-6A42A engine, delivering 500 and 600 horsepower respectively. Interestingly, Big Brothers have a higher ceiling and better speed. However, when it comes to range, Matrix and M350 are actually more efficient. Of course, all of the latest Piper M-Class models come equipped with Garmin G1000 navigation, autopilot, and numerous safety features, something Piper probably learned from past experiences. In conclusion, the Piper Malibu series, from the original Malibu to the new M-Class planes, represents a significant evolution in the field of single-engine aircraft. These planes combine performance, comfort, and advanced technology, making them ideal for long-range family trips. 
their spacious cabins, top-notch amenities, and impressive baggage capacity ensure a comfortable journey for all passengers. The Malibu's transition from piston engines to a turboprop in the Meridian model has boosted performance and efficiency, ensuring it remains a strong contender in its class. However, like any aircraft, they have had their share of challenges, with issues ranging from mechanical problems to regulatory scrutiny. Yet, through each hurdle, the Piper Malibu series has emerged stronger, with improvements and upgrades that address past problems and enhance the overall flying experience. Thanks so much for watching this video, and hope to see you in the next one.